history. Um, so I came up with a few things that I would call a catalyst for provoking the musical imagination. Um, uh, years ago, I was a, a pianist for dancers. I used to play for modern dance. If you play for ballet, often they want written music, but if you're playing for ballet dancers, usually you're asked, Do, can you play something in 5-4 meter or 7-4 meter at this, at, on the spot? It makes you very anxious. Or can you play a 12-bar 12, 12 phrase? Um, but basically, having the visual stimulus of seeing dancers would get me um, improvising. What I want to say is, the reason I wasn't sure if I could be part of this is I, I think I'm an outlier. I, I rarely sit and improvise. I do it very grudgingly. I do it if my husband asks me to. And then I usually you know, frown and stuff and say, I don't want to improvise. Um, but if there's ever a visual stimulus, like a dancer's arm, I, I'm good to go. So that was number one thing for me. I realized that um, that answers that question, what provokes a musical imagination. Um, so I just want to briefly pray for you. Um, so I, as I was saying, for Evan, I, I, I started compulsively recording things a long time ago. I used to do it on my little cassette recorder. So this was something I had recorded years ago. And it, it was indeed a 12-bar phrase. The teacher wanted a 12-bar phrase. And, and kind of this is what I came up with on the spot. I don't have a good word for it. I think many of you can relate to that. 
and I call it um, the need to change the musical energy. So if you've been saturated in Bach all day or Chopin or, or your own music, you know, if you're sensitive, something happens where you're, you're, you're desiring something else. And I think that um, for any artist, also in the visual arts, that's it's a really rich time to go from this thing that you've been saturated in and you're about to enter a new phase, but whatever happens on the cusp of that is really interesting time. Because I used to have a roommate years ago who was a painter, and she did that very thing. She went from one type of art she was doing to another before it became fully formed. It was really interesting, that little intersection. Um, so I think once I was playing uh, uh, one of my songs, I, I, I write songs more than I write piano pieces. I have many more songs than piano works. Um, but I think I had been probably playing something in A major with lots of arpeggios. It's all over the place. And you know, on some level, some part of me was sick of it. Um, and so I, I came to the piano. And again, this internal thing that just wants to change the energy. You're going to come home to your friend C major. And so I did. I'm sure I just came in with this.
It's a very nice perspective. And you bring so much talent to the table. Thank you. Whether it's compositionally, vocally, songwriting, thank you for your perception. Pleasure. Yeah.